What's really incredible here is what the snow should look like for early December here at Snoqualmie Pass. And you're about to see some numbers that show what should have been here that isn't. We saw a blob form in 2013 with major impacts here to our weather. Now it looks like it's back. The summers of 2014 and 2015 saw back to back record fire seasons. The peak buildup of snowpack by the spring of 2015 turned out pathetically low. It was all blamed on this red and orange spot off our coast, quickly dubbed the blob, a patch of ocean water four to five degrees warmer than normal. The original blob was so unusual and s stood above the usual kind of variations in the, you know, in the climate and uh, ocean temperatures that we thought, wow, this is going to be something that we won't see for quite a while. And here that we're talking about it right now is very much a surprise. See something familiar? A deja vu all over again kind of thing? This picture is now. Another so-called marine heat wave with temperatures four to five degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal. Blob 2.0, you know, whatever. Nick Bond is the state climatologist. And like the first blob, he's walking us through the potential impacts of this one now. This is the current snowpack map. Central Puget Sound, 5%. The upper Yakima Basin, 7%. In other words, 95% of the snow we should have on the ground isn't there. Can we blame Blob 2.0 for everything that goes wrong? I like to put it in a casino analogy that having this warm water stacks the deck toward us having uh, warmer than normal air temperatures. Now, Bond says he's not all that worried yet. It is still early December, and there is time, literally, to make up for things that are not here in the mountains right now. But he says if we're having the same discussion in early January, it could be a much different story. On Snoqualmie Pass, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.